Hello everyone, I am Erika of BeadingSchool.com and you are watching No One Has To Bead Alone, my weekly open beading workshop to make sure that every beader all around the world has company. You can watch today's video in real time from the Beading School Facebook page and also from the Beading School Club. Please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. I see beaders gathering already virtually and I would love to know if the technical stuff works all right. And good morning, Faye. Faye says that she can see me and she can hear me. That means that it must be all right and that Faye already had enough coffee so early in the morning. Good morning, Faye. And hi, Sarah and Antoinette and Margaret. Carol and Debbie is here and Jill is here and Ginny is here. Welcome, ladies. So sometimes it happens that if you did not give permission yet to my broadcasting program to see your name, then I can't greet you personally. That can happen if you are watching from the Beading School Club since it's like a closed, sheltered space on the internet. No one from the outside can see what's happening in there unless you are a member. So also my program needs permission to see your name. So if I don't greet you personally, it's because I don't see your name and I see you as Facebook user. So if you want to give permission to my program, then you can click on the link in the description of the video and you can enable that. And then I can say that hi, Jessica, and hi, Wanda, and Corinne is here, and Ariane. And then I have some Facebook user friends, and I have Ula here. Ula is traveling to a craft festival. Oh, I enjoy it very much, dear Ula. Gisela is here, Luisa is here, and Marta is here also. So ladies, I hope you did your homework. You had a little homework for today to peyote bezel, a chaton or rivoli or nacre cabochon or a pearl or round bead or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. It's important that it needs to be eight millimeter big and you need to peyote bezel it starting with 22 pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. So if you did not do that yet, I did it last minute, but I did it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. So if you didn't do that, then please start doing it. I will uh, share in the meanwhile some important things, some interesting things. And yeah, please bezel in the meanwhile. If you need extra help with that, uh, then find the forget me not tutorial between the gift tutorials in the beading school bead shop. And if you download it, it's for free. It's my gift to you. Then it is the perfect guide for you to see how you need to vessel the little cabochon. And we have here also Kristen, Facebook user friend. Ariana just finished her peyote bezel in time. Someone needs help. How can I help you? Please tell me more. <laughs> Nicolene is here and Mariana and some more Facebook user friends. So today we are going to have a retro no one has to beat along we started to bid together some two and a half years ago i think when covid started and since then pretty much every week i design a new beaded motif for you and I love doing that. And I think it's very nice to explore new and new possibilities every week. But also sometimes it's just nice to see where our beading skills have developed since the beginnings 
or maybe you joined us later, so you need some time to catch up and you would like to revisit some older designs. So every once in a while, we have so-called retro, no one has to be the loans. When we go back to an older design that you can actually help selecting it means that always before no one has to a retro no one has to be alone we post a poll in the beading school club and then you can choose what would you like to revisit and yeah we are doing that so today it's chloe chloe was one of the big favorites at the beginning so i'm super happy to do that and by the way always the selections we offer you possibilities in the polls where you have the beads included also in your current beading school academy team box so it means that if you would like to beat chloe uh, in flowers in the hair colors then you can because you have everything. So let's see what do you actually need for Chloe. So if we start in the beginning, then in the middle, then you need, as I said, something round shaped eight millimeter big for the center, a chaton, a rivoli, an acre cabochon, a pearl, anything that can be bezeled with peyote. You will need also three millimeter fire polished beads. You will need four millimeter check pressed round glass beads. You will need four millimeter preciosa bicons. And from the small ones, from the seed beads, uh, you will need Miyuki Delica size 11s and Miyuki round seed beads in size 15. So that's it. And the rest is up to you that how would you like to personalize your motif with some more cabochons, with crystal connectors, with drops, with, I don't know, there are so many possibilities. I'm sure you will have many, many, many different ideas. <laughs> and I'm also checking the comments. In the meanwhile, Kristen is asking for the Delica number in the picture of the pattern. Uh, you need to start with 22 Miyuki Delica beads for the first circle of the peyote bezel. Also, super important, if you would like to have the PDF, then you can go to novanhastobeadalon.com and there you have the two options as always. You can download it as a gift from us, from Beading School, from me, accept our virtual hug, <laughs> or you can support the broadcast by uh, ordering it for five euros. I posted before the broadcast, a little bit before the broadcast, maybe an hour ago, that the free auction is not working. You need to put in a code. And then Zuzi wrote me like, yay, a miracle happened. It's working. So as usually. The miracle is called Adam and yes, it's working in the normal way. So no worries, everything is all right. And yeah, let's see. And in the meanwhile, Maria joined us. I see you. Ah, Kristen is asking for the Delica number. Sorry, I misunderstood you. Would you please be so good to post your question in the Beading School Club because I don't have these delicas on my hand and I will look them up for you later. I love this shade, by the way. I can only recommend it. <laughs> and then someone actually likes the shades on the picture, even if she is not a fan of yellow. Who is not a fan of yellow? I know about Star Sarah, but are there more beaders out there? who don't like yellow, not even after flowers in the hair. Oh, and I also see here Luisa joining and Yosin and Nancy and Sherry. Welcome, ladies. And Katerina. Okay. And, and Zuzi. Hello, Zuzi. <laughs> so, and Wanda. Wanda says she loves yellow now. Good. 
good. You can stay. <laughs> okay, everyone can stay, no matter if you don't like it. <laughs> so, uh, and Sangita is here. And I will not read the comments now because ladies share, started to share that they don't like yellow. And I will ignore that for a little while. <laughs> so I will put on now my hand camera. I will switch to a different outside camera. So when I disappear, I mean my face disappears and my hands appear, then please let me know if you can still hear me or if there is an echo, whatever, to make sure that the the microphone is still all right. Just a sec. So you should hear me now. Here are also the illustrations. Jessica is beating up the bezel like crazy as she's late. No worries, dear Jessica. And hi, Gunnel. And hi, Donna. And Donna says that the sound is still okay. So then let's start beading. As you can see, my peyote bezel with the gloss chaton is already finished, 22 beads in one circle and I'm going for some I would say mystical thousand and one nights kind of colors yellow and orange and purple and yeah I like uh, and 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 uh, this thousand and one nights ones uh, kind of colors I had a heavy time. I have a, had a hard time selecting my bigger beads, but I really liked the peyote uh, bezel with this chaton. So I accepted my own challenge. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, I uh, switched to step two. And in step two, we are starting from the middle row of the Miyuki Delicas in the peyote bezel, you should have all together three rows of Miyuki Delicas. For the first row, you pick up the 22 beads. The first two rows, you pick up the 22 beads in one, and then you go all around one more time. So all, uh, all together, you have 33 Miyuki Delicas in the bezel. And you need to start step two from the middle row. And now I will add, I call it, we call it um, uh, beads in the ditch. This is a ditch here. So I'm exiting a delica in the middle row. I pick up a new delica and then I bead through the next Miyuki in the middle row. So the new bead, it will fill the gap between the two. It will fill the ditch. And this is how I bead all around, adding all together 11 pieces of Miyuki Delica beads. How is it going, ladies? Oh, and the meanwhile, uh, in the meanwhile, uh, Zuzi looked up the Delica number for Kirsten. Thank you so much, Kristen. Uh, thank you so much, Zuzi. She even posted the link. You're super sweet. Indeed, it's the Duracode galvanized matte dark sea foam. It's one of the first Miyuki Delica colors that I have had like ever. When I started to bead, then I used to work mostly with Toho as I found that that was more accessible to me. And then I started to gradually transfer to Miyuki. And this was one of my first colors, what you saw on the original that, that met matte sea foam, what Kristen was asking for. And 
since the beginning of my journey with Miyuki Delica beads, I admired very much this shade of 24 carat uh, pink gold iris AB, as I found it very, very beautiful. But yeah, it's also on the pricey side. So this is actually the first, the very, very first time that I am using it. So that's why I wanted to select some very nice colors. And I'm not so sure about my fire polished beads, but I hope it will turn out nice at the end. In the meanwhile, also Vania and Patty joined us. Welcome, ladies. So I added the 11 pieces of Miyuki Delica beads into the gaps between the beads in the middle row. And I finish step two by beading to the second new Miyuki Delica that I have added. I never start a row right away from the first one. So this is how it looks like at the moment with the Delica beads all around. For me, it looks a bit like a mini cogwheel. So I actually added two rows of size 15s to the back and only one row of size 15 to the front with some cabochons, it's enough. I find that uh, with chatons, it's enough sometimes depending on thread tension and exact uh, beads that I am using because sometimes there is a slight difference. But yeah, sometimes it's enough to add one row of size 15s to the front and then more of the cabochon is showing. And in the meanwhile, Eleanor joined us on from uh, listening on her way from home from work. Oh, then the weekend can begin. Nice. And let's see what's happening in step three. Where is my step three? Hey, everyone, where is my step three? Okay, I might need to upload it again. Just a moment. It's super weird. For some reason, my step three is lost. So if I can't find my step three, but I will explain it to you, no worries. So you start out from one of the new Delica beads and then you pick up a group of Delica, size 15 and Delica, and then you bead through the next Delica bead added in the previous step. So there is this little V shape from the two delicas and the round 15 in the middle. And this is how you go all around the motif. So you, now the magic number is 11. We always have a magic number or like most of the times we have a magic number that how many times do you need to repeat something? So in this case, it's 11. So we will add 11 groups of Delica and size 15 and Delica. And thank you so much for answering. Facebook user friends question. And hi Liv, good to see you too. And ladies, I hope that you are having a nice leisurely autumn weekend and that you can make time tomorrow for the next storytelling night. Please don't forget that Chenge 
or storyteller lady and friend is waiting for you tomorrow at the usual time with a new collection of stories. And it's happening through Zoom. This is like a special event when Cenge, a professional storyteller, she brings us stories that usually feature gems and jewels, always uh, inspired, the collection is inspired by the current Beading School Academy team. And it's happening through Zoom. And you can be it in the meanwhile or just listen to her stories. And it's a super nice experience. It's like, for me, it's really magical. It's like old times when, when someone is telling you stories and you are like completely getting lost in the stories. And I think especially for adults, it's such a precious a possibility to experience something like this because can you actually remember when was the last time that you were the listener and not the one who entertains for example your children or your students and so on I think it's so nice that she is bringing us these stories and it's, it's a treat, and I'm really looking forward to it tomorrow. Ariana says, she is great, you shouldn't miss it. And in fact, we are, and I, I really, really hope that uh, many of you will be able to come tomorrow. The link is in the Beading School uh, Academy Virtual Classroom. Uh, but in case that you can't, we will be making a recording, but it's not the same. It's super nice to listen to her again or to listen to her if you really like can't make it, but it's so much better if you can be there. In the meanwhile, also Cynthia joined us. Welcome Cynthia, welcome sunshine. So I finished the step, step three, what is for some reason missing from my illustrations. And now I will continue with step four, when I will be adding the first circle of my three millimeter fire polished beads. I'm exiting the round 15 from the middle of the second group of Delica round 15 Delica that I added. And I pick up a three millimeter fire polished bead and then I bead through the next round 15. And this is one of those patterns when I recommend to really notice and keep noticing your thread tension that how much do you pull the thread. Check fire polished beads can have different coatings and especially the smooth round shaped ones, these ones that we are adding a little bit later, they can have little, little differences. So from one factory, they can be slightly smaller than from another one and it can make a difference. So what I recommend is that don't pull too much, don't let it lose. If you feel that it's not completely straight, the motif, then I recommend putting it down to your, pull it, pull it bell, and then put it down to your, to your bead mat and tap on it gently to determine that, how tight your thread tension needs to be. And my beading friends from the beginning know the lesson very well. If at the end it's still not as straight as you wish for, then what do you do? And thank you, Mar and Margaret. Margaret likes my color combination. And Sarah, Sarah says, I missed all her stories. Maybe I will make it tomorrow. 
I really hope so, Sarah. I think it's a it's a truly special experience. And hi, Elena. And Yossi knows the lesson, sit on it. And if it's still not flat enough, eat chocolate and sit on it again. And if it's still not flat enough, then put it on a filigree. Filigree is solve every or like nearly every <laughs> possible reading questions. <laughs> yeah, Ariana knows. Put it on a filigree. <laughs> And Tinker Pearl is here, and Jennifer is here. Vani, have you a post for us something? I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Corinna knows it very well. You eat a lot of chocolate and then sit on it. Corinna is one of the readers who is with us since the very beginning. We have some serious history, Corinna, Corinne, and uh, with Elena also, and with Sarah, and with many, many, many bidders from here. It's unbelievable. Two and a half years, nearly every Friday evening together. Jessica agrees with Corinne's uh, idea about the chocolate. <laughs> and yeah, Margaret, feel free to send us an email or when it's a creative question, then you can also post it in the club and there we can, we can help you. When it's like a technical question or something regarding your order, then you always need to send an email to info at beadingschool.com because that's what my colleagues from the treasury are reading. Understandably, they don't, they can't read all the time all the Facebook posts. Uh, they are busy bees packing your orders. And when you have a creative question, then me and Susie and Veronka can also answer you in the club or your fellow beaders, because that's actually the best part of it that we can all put together what we have as experience and skills and ideas. So oh, that's, that's something really nice about the club, I would say. <laughs> and Miriam joined us and Bernadette jo joined us. And Katarina says that she would actually like a little dome shape. It can be a little bit domed indeed. And Irina is here also. Nice. And Constance. Thanks, Constance. So now I'm exiting the second fire polished bead that I added in this circle. And again, I'm adding the same groups of beads as before. So it's Miyuki Delica, round 15, Miyuki Delica. But I am now adding this combination always between the fire polished beads. So magic number 11, I will add 11 times Delica, round 15 and Delica bead. And Cindy says, I'm very excited about joining in on the Secret Santa, my first time. You are a gracious person with your time and talent. Thank you. Dear Cindy, it's my pleasure. And thank you so much for joining. The holiday season, no matter uh, if you celebrate Christmas or Diwali or Hanukkah or just uh, the precious time with your family, then we also like to make it special at beading school since we are also a community of beaders. And I think, especially during this time, we all need that warmth on our bead mats, in our hearts, with our beading friends. So the secret Santa is, oh my God, how many years are we organizing 
it's already, I think, four or five. So we have a chain of beaters, and you don't know who your Santa is, but uh, everyone is sending it, uh, sending a package to someone with a little gift. We always ask you to please include a handwritten postcard. And then when the little packages reach you, we ask you of a lot of, lot of, lot of patience to wait with opening it until the 24th of December. And we all open it like more or less at the same time. And then you can post, if you want to, you can post a picture about your package. And at that moment, Secret Santa will not be so secret anymore as you will find a postcard inside. And we really encourage you to like reach out to your Secret Santa, to say thank you, to greet each other, and maybe a new friendship will actually start. So that's the best part of it, I would say. And Vania is asking, did you make any changes to the patterns or okay with the older one? So thank you for your question, Vania. Uh, you're right. This pattern was actually done during the storytelling jeweler times. So the colors and the header and the title and everything was different. So Veronica was so nice and she created a beading school design uh, pattern from Chloe. But other than that, we did not change it. So you are good to go with your old pattern, but this one is nicer. So if you want, you can download it again, of course. Wow, and someone is watching from the Dominican Republic. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. And wow, I'm always so excited when someone is joining from a new country and we have beaders from so many places from around the world now. It's, it's unbelievable. It's like from Indonesia through Thailand and India and New Zealand and Australia and South Africa and Costa Rica and different South American countries. So oh, it's so nice to see that how many places are represented here. And then a Facebook user says, I am beyond excited about the advent calendar. Oh, me too. <laughs> it's going to be a good run. And let me tell you more about the calendar a little bit later, but let's see what's in step six. So I want to start step six from one of the round 15s that I have added in the previous step. And now I'm switching to my four millimeter round beads and again my size 15s and I'm adding groups of size 15, four millimeter round pearl and another size 15 between the size 15s added in the previous row. So always the three beads in between the round 15s. Kristen is asking, is the postcard supposed to be where we live? It's completely up to you, Kristen. If you would like to share a beautiful picture about your, uh, about your place where you live, then, then you can send, of course, a postcard from your, from your town or city or village but you can also send a holiday postcard. You can draw something. I can only encourage you to do a little artwork and draw, draw something. I believe one of these years I actually received from Zuzi a postcard that was drawn by her kiddos. So that was also very special. <laughs> 
And yeah, we had a reader friend excited about the advent calendar. So today I was making lots and lots of plans and I actually placed a huge order for metal components <laughs> because we posted a poll earlier in the advent calendar group and most of you said that you are interested at the metal components. So I thought at first that, okay, we have enough, we have enough. But then when I saw that that's what is the most important for you, then we decided that we need some more components. So for those of you who don't know, the Beating School Advent Calendar is 24 days of super special deals higher than what you usually get with the weekly deals. Also surprises and also some gifts every here and there. And every day something else is coming. And for example, for 48 hours you can shop I'm just saying an example like Miyuki Delicas with 29% discount. Or one day, for example, I don't know, just, just this as an example, 16% of Preciosa beads. Actually, not 16 because it's always more than that. <laughs> so, yeah. Or maybe a tutorial, or we actually have a tradition when the treasury is putting together, the ladies and the gentlemen are putting together some uh, surprise packs for our participating beaters and they just slide it into everyone's package as a, as a little gift. So lots of different things coming. And Gunna says that she has accidentally almost the same colors as me. I'm excited, Gunna. And actually, I'm, I'm very happy with how it's turning out. I was not so sure about my shades, but now I can say that I'm super happy. I hope that you are happy too. And Miriam is using colors from the box. I am also very excited to see that. <laughs> Patty loves this. Vanda, uh, yeah, there is a special group about the advent calendar. And yeah, next week we will be in touch. I'm sorry if we haven't yet. There are actually lots of things going on this week. So I think we got a little bit behind. I'm sorry about that but you will get a little invitation in your in, uh, mailbox to join the advent calendar group. And then in a matter of a few days, uh, as soon as we can catch up with our tasks, we will let you in the group where we will post every day that what is the special deal, but also from the 1st to the 24th of December, you will also get information to your email to make sure yet that you don't miss it. <laughs> Miriam says, I am excited about the advent calendar all year round. <laughs> I can understand that. <laughs> and I'm super happy that it makes you uh, feel so excited, Miriam. Thank you so much. And Susie says, oh, I loved Erica's special selection two years ago in the advent calendar. Miriam says, once you gifted this very, very cute star pattern with the calendar, you mean the Milky Way, right? That was a, that was a cutie. <laughs> Ariana is building by the way with green ones. So we are also progressing with our beadwork, hopefully. <laughs> so now back to the three millimeter fire polished beads. So now I am adding 
new groups of beads between the four millimeter round burrs. And the new groups are Delica, three millimeter fire polished bead, and then four more Delica. So I am exiting a four millimeter round burr before picking up this new group. And then I'm beading through the next round burr. So I arrange my beads right away to make sure that they look nice. And then I go further. Again, the same combination. Again, pulling my thread through the four millimeter round bead. And again, and again. Cindy says in the meanwhile, I don't need coffee when the, that event is happening. <laughs> There is definitely a lot of lots of adrenaline. <laughs> and for your scene, it will be the first time that she's participating. Ooh, then that is special. So or beaders who have experienced it already one or two times. This is the third time that we are doing it. If you want, then you can share with your team <laughs> some good ideas, how to get ready, how to prepare for it. I think she will really appreciate it. <laughs> it is a special event. And by the way, I would also recommend you now to visit the Beating School blog as yesterday we just published a new interview and the new interview is with Sarah who is also here with us beating and she's answering questions about her favorite patterns and colors and showing showing us her beading room and some of her beautiful jewels. So it's a really nice article to read with your coffee or with your tea while you are taking a little break from your beads. Sarah's jewels are super beautiful and it's very nice to get to know her a little bit better. Thank you so much, Sarah, for answering all our questions. And Jessica says, I'm guessing a fast Wi-Fi is important. It helps. <laughs> it helps. Antoinette says, best advice is just trying to be patient. Things you will uh, build there for you. And hi, Linda. And indeed, so we always uh, announce the special deal at the same time. So then there is like a rush, a gold rush. <laughs> and everyone is, of course, trying to, trying to get what she would like to the most from that category that is on a special that is included in the special deal on that day. And I can promise that the server will die, the website will crash, even if we did everything what we could, but there are just limitations of the technology. But we upgraded to a server hosting the beading school web page that is twice as fast. So even if it will crash and it will, unfortunately, then Adam says that it will come back faster than before. So that's definitely an improvement. And Faye loves the, loves the article with Sarah. <laughs> I also enjoyed reading it yesterday very much. I finish now, I step seven, by beading 
to the second fire polished bead that I have added in this circle. And how to plan like with purchases. That's also important. Like you can go for special things because we will have some some uh, special things available that are otherwise not accessible or we are like adding them specifically for the advent season but also it will be a very good opportunity to build up your basic stash because basically we will travel through the whole beading school bead shop and you will get a chance to stock up from fire polished beads, from Miyuki, from everything, basically. So that's also a clever decision to, to stock up from, from what you like need all the time. And now blingy part is coming. And I will be using some four millimeter by combis. These are crystal two times AB from Preciosa. And I am adding them between the three millimeter fire polished beads. Always the combination of Delica, Bicon, Delica. And then I bead through the next fire polished bead. Oh, I like this part. And also I was not so sure about the, the bicone beads. I'm not a huge friend with Crystal AB, but or I used to used to be not a huge friend of Crystal AB. But recently we are getting very friendly. And I find that it blends in to the color combination that you are working with. So there are so many shades in Crystal AB, a bit of yellow, a bit of pink, a bit of purple, sometimes even a bit of blue. And when I'm using it with purple beads, then it will become like seemingly more purple and blend in nicely. And Katarina is asking, do you forget, uh, forgot one size 15? It can be. I hope not. Uh-oh, do you see a mistake somewhere? And Susie says, in the meanwhile, Susie is a veteran. She says, I love how we are crashing the web shop. It was frustrating at first, but now I enjoy all the jokes around. And there is really plenty of goodies. I was able to get mine hours later. I take it as a game, so it's fun, not a headache. Indeed, and thank you so much for sharing that, Susie. And, oh my God, Susie also sees that I made a mistake and I don't see it. That's horrible. A Delica. Okay, you say I forgot the de Delica. This one here? No, it's just, it's just a bit like out of where it is supposed to be. I hope you meant this one. My pendant actually started to be like not so nice behaving. It's not so flat. I will need to eat more chocolate. Okay, please navigate me. I'm, I'm trying to find the mistake, but I don't see it. I still don't see it. I'm, I'm blind. Oh, okay. Zuzi says it's okay. It was the one I, uh, one I uh, meant that it was turned. Uh, Donna is asking if all the colors are okay. They are, they come from the same little baggie, but these are Iris, uh, Iris AB Delicas. So some of them are more towards yellow. Some of them are more towards purple. Some of them are more towards pink. 
so it varies a little bit. And I think back to what Zuzi was saying, to take it with a bit of bit of a uh, light heart and a joke, that indeed sometimes it happens that yeah, something disappears from your cart. And yeah, it can be frustrating, of course. But what is really important is to always think about that other beater too, who is happy at that moment with something precious, but also to keep on mind that one day you can be lucky, one day you will be not the lucky one, but the third day will also be again like a lucky day for you. So I think what is important to keep the positivity and and the friendly atmosphere. And so far it was always very funny. <laughs> and I think everyone was really happy at the end with the beads that they could they could uh, then unpack after the holidays when the package arrived. And now I would like to ask, how is yours going? Mine is again behaving a lot nicer now that I have added the bicon round. So with the fire polished beads, after I added the fire polished beads, I was actually turning a bit unhappy about my motive. But now that uh, I added the, uh, the bicons too, then again, it's, it's nice and flat. And I'm super happy with my colors. <gasps> How are you doing, ladies? Are you happy with your colors and how is it going? I will now navigate to a bicone bead. So I start the next step from at least the second bicone bead that I have added. But if you want, you can actually repeat the whole circle to make it to make the motif sturdier because now that it's bigger then it can help if you if you have a little bit of problem with your uh, tension for example and Miriam says, I enjoy the calendar, never felt like bad luck or hassle. I was able to buy a lot of lovely things. I am not able to visit the beach shop every day at time, but I was able to get more than enough. Thank you for sharing that, Miriam. And Sherry says, I have always been so happy with what, with what I was able to get and such a fun morning for me. Oh, Sherry, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Ariana is using some extreme colors, some juicy colors, I'm curious. Yosin is not that happy. Cindy is in Christmas mood. Oh, Wanda is working on a dreaming pendant now. So let's see, how do we progress? Step nine. I am starting out from a bicone bead and I will now add some more fire polished beads and delicas. Before it was the combination of delica fire polished delica, but now it's the combination of fire polished, delica, and fire polished again, in between the four millimeter bicone beads. But 
by the way, since we are talking about that much, Zuzi dear, if you are still here with us, would you be so good to post the link to the advent calendar? If we have a beater here who doesn't have it yet, or who would like to have some more information, then could you please post the link in a comment? Thank you so much. If that's possible, thank you. And Antoinette says, I'm using beads from the Tatis' treasure with Caribbean middle and the advent was awesome. <laughs> Dear Antoinette. And I'm looking forward to see your Tatis colors. By the way, I know, know I teased you enough today in the group, but Oh, I'm so happy with my with my newest design that I beaded yesterday in the evening. I was working from the next box, from the November, December Beading School Academy team box. And, and I'm 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 super happy with how it turned out. And I can't wait to see you beading it. And actually. It is also a mandala shaped circular design, like Chloe that we are beading now. So the new one that I'm that's coming with the next box, it's also a mandala. However, I was showing it to Adam, the new one and, and Chloe, to show him the difference that while with Chloe, we are just basically going around and around. I'm I'm very happy that now with the new tutorial, I can show you so many more interesting technical solutions and little tips and tricks and how you can layer and how you can add different types, different sizes. So I am actually <laughs> all the time incredibly grateful for the opportunity to keep designing for you because it pushes my boundary it pushes my limits what i think is possible because i always want to bring something new new technical solutions new shapes and so on and i'm so grateful that thanks to the motivation from you I can see the progress and and I can't wait to show it to you. But Liv is asking for a sneak peek. There won't be a sneak peek. I'm so sorry, Liv, but it's so early for November, December that there won't be a sneak peek. There will be a sneak peek, I think, in two weeks. So now I added the groups of fire polished beads and delicas and more fire polished beads all around. And now my motive is flat and sturdy. And let's see what's happening in the next step. So in the next step, I will repeat the thread pass of step nine, but I will always skip the Miyuki Delica that is in between the fire polished beads. So I bead through bicon, fire polished, fire polished bicon, but I never go through the Miyuki Delica. Make sure don't not to pull the thread too much because it would become wavy. So pull it gently, but not too much. <laughs> <laughs> and Jessica says, finally happy with the bezel and done with step three. My chaton was an eight millimeter revolve, so the first bezel was too big. I had missed that it was a revolve. Love beating with you all. It was a long time since last time I beaded live. Jessica, I'm really happy that you could join us today. Uh, for me, this 22 Delica bezel, it works well for chatons and rivolis too. So 
uh, we might be able to help you in the club if you would be so good to if you want to you can post your picture what did not go well with the rivoli and the bezel should work out maybe one of us maybe me or a fellow beater can spot something So also, as we are talking about dates and when is what coming, I would like to mention that there is a daylight saving time change going on now, and it's not happening as the, at the same time as in the United States. So please be extra careful with the times when some, something is happening, because if even if you are used to, like, for example, uh, it's always when I say that 5 p.m. Central European time, then it's always, let's say, 8 a.m. for you. Then please make sure to double check these coming weeks because there will be a difference. And tomorrow just to repeat oh let's start with something important we have a deadline today as today is your last chance to enter the flowers in the hair mini challenge until midnight central european time and i am really looking forward to seeing your to seeing your creations and Margaret ask, is asking, Amsterdam time is also German time? Yes, with Margar uh, Margaret with you, it's easy because we are, we are on the same Central European time. And Vanda is asking, what is the time now? So now it's past just past 6 p.m. but I think the change is happening here tomorrow it's always Saturday Wanda is pushing her limits to finish the challenge dear Wanda enjoy the process and I hope that you will make it <laughs> Sarah might enter the next time. And thank you, Martina, you're so kind. And Saturday evening, yeah, I think it's during the night. So it's 7 p.m. Central European time that you need to check for the storytelling. So that's something to remember. Mini challenge today, tomorrow storytelling night. And then next week, the big adventure with the square stitch bezels will start in the seed beads and more group. So on Tuesday, I will actually have a video in the afternoon in the Seed Beads and More group. So our usual Coffee Time with Erica will happen on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. To make sure that I can, I can be there for both live videos. <laughs> So Tuesday, we are starting to beat the square stitch bezels. And on Wednesday, we will have coffee time with Erica. And Miriam has some good information. She says, change will take place in the night from Saturday to Sunday, probably 2 or 3 a.m. Oh yeah, Marianne also says that it's at 2 a.m. Thank you so much. And indeed, it's it's earlier than in the States. That's why it's a bit tricky these weeks. 
and I think I finished my Chloe. Yay! And I'm super happy. What do you think? What should I do with it? Shall it be a brooch or a single big piece of earring? Shall I add something to it? In the meanwhile, I'm showing you the peyote bear that I have added to the original version. So the original version was a pendant with a simple peyote bear. Recently, we were talking a lot about turning or beaded motifs into uh, necklaces and pendants. So this is one of the one of the ways how you can do that. Margaret uh, is asking for advice about the seed beads and more group. So I would recommend checking your personal message box on Facebook. That's where they are getting in touch with you if there is something wrong with the application. Or please contact one of the admins uh, directly one of the administrators directly. One of our fellow beading school club members, Nancy, is actually also a seed beads and more uh, administrator. So she was writing about it on, in the club already and she might be able to help you out. And Thank you, ladies. And Margarita is making, by the way, a pendant on a silk ribbon. That will be super pretty. And thank you, Jessica. Elena is suggesting a brooch and an interesting filigree. And I think I really need a new brooch. That's a good idea, Elena. Miriam would also suggest an earring. And as I am really a fan of big earrings, this, this might be perfect. <laughs> Gunnar is asking for the color of the Rivoli. You can find it between the glass cabochons. So it's not Preciosa, it's between the ordinary glass. And I think it's Sunset or something like that. It has a super nice name. It's a good one. <laughs> And please let me know if you have any more questions. I would like to answer them right away. Also, please remember that next week is the top up week for the Beading School Academy. So if you are one of our Beading School Academy students, then you can top up your box and take advantage of free shipping. Whatever you order, we will pack it together with your Beading School Academy team box. So you don't pay anything extra for the shipping. So it's a great opportunity if you need something more. All next week, we will be collecting your top-ups if you would like to have something. And Cindy is also voting for earrings. <laughs> Oh, Liv would like me to make a full necklace with three. Oh my God, that would be beautiful. <laughs> with some crystals in between. And I'm checking my notes. And I have also one more very important information to share. You might have already seen it. So we would like to gift you and to warm you up uh, during these colder autumn days with a little gift. So every one of our students of the Beading School Academy receives the tutorial of the October earrings designed by Veronka as a gift from us. So if you navigate to the bead shop and you log in, then the price will be automatically reduced for you. So, if you don't have more questions, then I would like to wish you a very nice weekend. Take care, be done, post your creations. I can't wait to meet with you tomorrow during the storytelling night. 
uh, Zuzi is asking if I mentioned that it's the due date for the mini challenge. Indeed, indeed, dear Zuzi, I mentioned. So I also would like to wish all the luck and speed and patience to those beaders who are using the last hours to finish their submissions. And I'm really looking forward to, to see all the beautiful jewels. Bye bye, everyone. And happy beating and thank you for joining me today. Bye bye.